Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 10th of November comes to you from the Canary Islands where I'm down this week just getting some sun. Uh, so we start by looking at the markets. We saw a really interesting uh, state of affairs yesterday where uh, markets were up quite strongly but a lot of stock rotation going on and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the dollar did recover a little bit off its lows uh, but it is still bearish on those medium and long term charts and what was a bottom in September is now starting to look a little bit like it could be compromised. Uh, we're seeing the euro therefore looking stronger against that weaker dollar uh, and if we look at sterling we're sitting at 132 so again um, benefiting from that uh, weaker dollar making now two month highs there on sterling so that's looking quite significant as well. Uh, against the euro sterling is actually looking very strong it's now sitting at 111.79 uh, and again we're starting to see two month highs there and a quite a steady build there. Hopes of uh, a deal with uh, eurozone starting to look more more uh, likely. We're looking at uh, Bitcoin, we're sitting at $15,400. That's bullish on all three time frames. We've got this target to 19700 so I'm 28% higher. That's the target that the uh, Bitcoin is pushing for. Looking at the markets, we saw the S&P 500 index up over 1%, closing at a new high. So that's really significant. The S&P 500 index making a new all-time high. Um, obviously on the news of a vaccine yesterday but what was really interesting was that the Nasdaq actually fell and this is really the stock rotation going on uh, where we saw uh, tech stocks uh, the, especially the FANG stocks that have been carrying the market um, on this r r rally over the last several months actually starting to fall away because of course as we see news of a vaccine those stocks that have benefited uh, are starting to fall and the ones that have been hit are starting to rise so we're just seeing that rotation whether it will be sustained is uh, is another thing but we are just seeing that yesterday and that shows up really clearly in the Dow we saw the Dow actually up uh, 3% and if we look at the Dow constituents we really do see the rotation going on so this data coming um, from Yahoo Finance into Updata so we saw Amex were up 21% uh, so they had a massive day Boeing which has obviously been hit up 13% uh, so it was stocks that have been steadily falling haven't really recovered from the crisis they're the ones that went up yesterday Exxon because oil's been hit Chevron up Pfizer, of course, were up uh, on the basis of uh, the virus, the vaccine. Uh, but then we're also seeing stocks that were hit. So Apple um, was down, Microsoft uh, down some 2%. So stocks that have been the real beneficiaries, Home Depot, for example, the real beneficiaries down 5% uh, of the virus are the ones that are being hit. So we're seeing that rotation out of the performers into um, the uh, underperformers. As, as I say, whether that's going to be sustained is going to be really key. Uh, we see the S&P future up slightly this morning, but the NASDAQ down some 0.8%. So tech stocks really starting to look like they might have topped and they've carried the market. So that could be interesting um, to just see how we go from there. Uh, that, and then we see the VIX volatility uh, also just uh, tailing off. Remembering, of course, on the NASDAQ 100, we do still have these downside targets. These will not come off the chart until we see new highs. Uh, and the interesting thing, of course, is they've come off the S&P uh, index already. So we've got a real mismatch there. Uh, this morning, we've got the FTSE future up 1%. Uh, but the cash markets, the DAX is down slightly in Germany, down 0.1%. And the CAC Courant is up uh, 1%. Japan was up 1.4%, the Hang Seng up 1% uh, in Asia, we saw Chinese stocks down 0.4%, the Indian market up 1.4% and the Aussie market actually up about 0.6%. So we have seen um, a real sort of uh, recovery in, in markets, uh, Asia looking very strong, uh, but it will be very interesting to see uh, whether these tech stocks can carry the market. Gold dived yesterday as soon as the news was announced because it was the, the, the uh, safe haven assets actually hit quite hard and that's a really big down day for gold. That's sort of taking us into bearish territory there for the medium term. The long term chart is great, but we are just seeing these downside targets. If we make new lows on gold, that could go 11% lower so we need to watch for that uh, and silver similarly was down yesterday quite sharply. US bond yields have really rocketed so we uh, saw this big variation last week in the candle there on the daily chart. Uh, we've been a real seesaw but bond yields um, 
really uh, rocketing there and uh, that's really interesting to see how that 10 year yield is just now nudging near getting near 1% again and making again six month highs so that's um, very very significant. Uh, looking at the energy mix uh, we see Brent crude is up 1.5% of course again it rocketed yesterday on the virus news uh, so feeling that demand will come back of course we've still got to break through these levels that we've seen previously so we've come straight to resistance uh, so still not a great looking chart on the daily we're still bearish but on the 60 minute chart looking better a shortage of one minute targets means we may not see much performance in crude oil today uh, US nat gas actually uh, up again but are still in a in a pretty vicious downtrend we've got targets hanging over us but we do have a new upside target we might get back through the three dollar mark Coal is up 1% this morning, but it did make new lows yesterday, so that's not so good. And emissions are slightly down, although they look like they're recovering now. We've got some good upside targets to play for. Gas markets are down this morning. We see uh, uh, a European Dutch gas uh, front month down 1%, winter gas down 0.2%. And if we look at gas pool, that's down 1% as well. So gas market's not performing so well this morning. Uh, German power fed, uh, fairly steady this morning, not much change there, but we actually see this recovery on the uh, short term chart and uh, we do have an upside target, a couple of mini downside targets. French power still looking pretty bearish down 1.4% and if we look at Nordic power, this has been making new lows looking pretty terrible but this morning we're seeing a bit of a bounce especially in the quarterly contract. That's it for today, until tomorrow, happy charting, see you then.